Chicken here to bring you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we are going to be discussing is Private Bullet too good or does he need to be nerfed? Or, wait, that's saying the same thing. Is he too good or is he okay? Is he bad? Is he just right? Does he need to be nerfed? Does he need to be buffed? Uh, we're going to talk all about that, guys, and we have a grainy image of, of Bullet Beneath us. I'm not sure why it looks like that, but... I don't know, kind of gives him a little, uh, little spark, a little edge, a little, uh, a little cluck in his, in his ducks. So, uh, we are going to be getting into, uh, some player bases here. And what I wanted to try first was using Bullet with all riflemen, because, um, yes, yes, we're going to get into imitation game, we're going to be doing it on a live stream. Um, but, let's get, uh, let's get Bully loaded up here, guys, and see what we can get done using him, uh, with the riflemen. So, uh, not really like a conventional strategy, I just wanted to try it out because we have the Rifleman Tribe, so we might as well give it a shot and, uh, and see what happens, guys. So, Private Bullet, is he OP? I think, I think the, the tough answer to this is yes, and I don't want him changed. I have a lot of fun using Private Bullet as he is, and I don't think he's too game-breaking in operations or anything. Uh, I just find in that 700 to 800 VP level, it's like, oh my god, like, he's unbelievably strong. Like, uh, like if you just use him with warriors against a base that doesn't have ice or a shield, you're more or less just going to win. Uh, okay, how's this going to work, guys? Uh, we just kind of launched everybody together. That's not what I wanted to do at all. I was going to try to get a uh, bullet to, to step away from everybody, but... Uh, I guess the movement speed uh, is more or less the same. So we'll go like this. We got bullet uh, taunting basically so everything shoots directly in the center of the rifleman. So we kind of cleared out a pocket of, of rifleman in a circle around bullet. So I'm not sure how good that strategy actually is. But let's use a, a real bullet strategy now, guys. So uh, let's, let's load up um, probably the easiest and probably also the strongest. Uh, for what we're talking about today, and that's gonna be bullet with warriors. So, yeah, when you, un unless you're facing an HQ that has um, a high shield or even just a lot of ice statues and has like an insane amount of building health, there's basically no base that can't be taken down using bullet and warriors. Presuming you have a couple offensive statues, and um, and you kind of know what you're doing. So. Um, we'll give you guys the example of this. So, the first problem, I think, like, the first way they could go about doing this is, um, it's, it's very easy to get Bullet on the HQ with Warriors, and they already have a hero in Dr. Gavon that, uh, works well with Warriors and does give them a bit of a buff. So I'm not sure if Bullet necessarily needs to be this easy to use with Warriors. And... I think um, I think the easiest way, if they were going to nerf Bullet, would just be to simply reduce the taunt radius, because, like, the, the fact that you can just smoke him to an HQ with Warriors and then taunt basically, like, 75% of the defenses, it just seems like a lot. So, and guys, it pains me to say this, I love using Private Bullet, but... Um, I think it, I, I think it, I, I think it's an, a notable discussion either way. So next, the next bullet attack strategy that I want to talk about that is insanely good, personally the chicken's favorite. Uh, that's gonna be two six heavy zuka with taunt. Okay, this is a this is a really tough base here, guys. But um, okay, so basically the idea with this strategy is. Um, I mean, you just get the heavies to cover for the Zookas, and then you get Bullet to cover for everybody, right? And, again, his taunt radius kind of makes this uh, a little ridiculous. I mean, say there's some rock launchers back here. I shock those bad boys. And then and then we're basically we're, we're basically home free um, cooking, clucking, and ducking, guys. So, uh, yeah, may, we'll, we'll try another 2-6 uh, we'll heavy Zooka base because, I mean, that wasn't really a great example of anything. Um, but we'll take the free snipe. We'll take the free snipe. Uh, okay, so, okay, very, what, big upgrade to 821 VP, guys. Very excited about that. Uh, okay, so, let's try this. Uh, we'll do the same thing, and then we'll just give you guys kind of a, uh, a rough look at, uh, what we're talking about here. So, um, alright, so we'll get, uh, we'll get the heavies and zookas loaded up like this. 
And keep in mind, obviously, th these are very easy bases, but these are the bases that I'm talking about. I'm not saying that he's broken up at 1,200 VP. I think, um, but it, like also, most of the players aren't up that high anyways, right? So I'm just going to let it play out like this. I'm not going to shock anything. I'm just going to, I've got 30 GB left. I'm just going to use the taunt. Like, you see how broken this is, right? Like, when I don't even have to do anything, it comes into a question of, like, is there even any skill in being involved here? And, again, no ice statues, um, no shields on the base, so obviously these look very easy. Nice, we got a good crystal there, guys. Definitely take that. Um, so, yeah, I'm not saying that every attack you do is like this. Obviously, there's harder bases, and obviously those are harder to take down with Bullet. Bullet doesn't make every single base as easy as we're showing here. I realize that. I'm just saying, I still think he's too strong, especially for um, mid to lower levels. Um, I've heard people say that they can take down uh, like level 40s. Uh, as a level 40, they could take down a max base uh, using Bullet with Warriors. He's just that. Uh, he's just that strong. So maybe, maybe put some kind of. Um, I don't know how they would do it. But put some kind of a level cap on him, where unless you're. Um, I don't know, you're maxed out more, you, he's not as strong, or his taunt radius isn't as, isn't as good, something like that, I don't really know. Um, I, Chicken doesn't have the answers, guys. Chicken doesn't have the answers. Chicken has the questions. So we'll go like this, and like this, and then we'll go like that, and our Zookas are just protected from everything. Everyone is shooting over top, rated private bullet, and again, this base didn't have a shield, therefore it's an easy base, but he did have five ice statues. And it was, it was still pretty easy. But we did have to use our shocks and medkits and everything. And his layout was pretty atrocious. So, um, yeah. I'll throw it out to you guys. What do you guys think? Do you think Private Bullet needs to be nerfed for the sake of the game being balanced? Like, try to look at it from the opinion of uh, the game more so than of your personal attacking preference. Because that's what I'm trying to do here. If it was all up to Chicken, I'd say, if anything, make the taunt radius even bigger and make it last longer, right? Because that would be more fun. But... Like you got to take the game balancing into equation as well um, when we're talking about these very, very serious uh, Boom Beach conversations, guys. So, um, yeah, I'll throw it out to you guys. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. If we get some good ones, I'll share them with Supercell. Um, I probably shouldn't say that as like a, a way to get comments, but I'm just saying in general, if there's some good ideas, then I'll, I'll throw it out to uh, whoever it needs to be thrown out to. Okay, so let's get these guys locked and loaded right up on the HQ. And here we go, here we go, here we go. So we'll go one smoke there, one smoke here, here. Bang, bang, bang. And we'll get some critters going out this way. And then we'll go like that. One critter is going to pop out, but that should be okay. Then we'll go like this. Bang, bang. The flamethrower is going to be targeted on private bullet. So between bullet, heavies, and the critters, we have just like an impenetrable wall of this sniper tower. Uh, protecting all of our Zookas, guys. So, uh, I think we're going to end the video there. But, uh, but yeah, I'll throw it out to you guys. What do you guys think? Do you think he's, do you think he's perfect the way he is in terms of, in terms of balance, not in terms of, uh, gameplay? Um, and everything. We already explained that. So, everything like that. So, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Uh, we're going to be scrapping up this statue. We're going to be cooking up another one. Let's check in on, uh, the operation here. So, we're moving back the operation time. Uh, it'll probably have to be a little bit later than this because everyone, the chicken's always on teams with European people for some reasons, guys. And they had the operation time at like, it was like 3.30 in the morning or something for chicken, which was a little bit ridiculous, but, um, yeah, we got that battle solo on, um, we had the battle solo on yesterday's video, guys. Let's take a look at Marty's hit here. Oh my god, I've not seen this yet. We'll play it in four speed because we're getting close to that magical ten minute mark. And, uh... Alright, so here we go. So we got the Zookas coming in with Brick. And... Okay. So he's going in... He's going all Zookas here. I guess there's no shield on this Titanic, right? So that's the idea. One, two, three. One, two, three. F five shocks. Look at this. This is crazy. Look at this mortar shell. Look at this mortar shell just menacing in the background. Oh man, that was lucky. Look at this, guys. Look at this. He's got one more shot left with the Zookas, and boom! Titanic goes down. We're back, back, back! Big shout-out to Marty, guys. Chicken Coop 5, coming for the Angry Outcast. 
Uh, we'll be there soon. That, my friends, is going to wrap up the video today. Uh, make sure to let me know what you think of Private Bullet down below in the comments. And, uh, yeah, that is going to wrap up the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you next one, guys. Chicken out. Oh,